up, y'all? It's time to jump into these questions and answers, man. You guys sent your questions, and I'm about to answer these bad boys the best I can. Listen, it's raining today, y'all, so I'm not going to be driving and doing a reaction video. That's dangerous. Don't do that, man. So, uh, yeah, man, I, but I can do is read some questions and uh, uh, answer them to the best of my ability, man. So let's jump into it. Come on. All right, so uh, the first question is, how long is my drive to work? <laughs> Perfect question. I just got off of work. <laughs> so yeah, man, my drive to work is 15 minutes and uh, 15 to 20 minutes. And then you double that on your way home because the traffic, you know, you get to work fast. <laughs> but going home, is you just double that, man. So uh, it takes 15 minutes to get to work and about 30 to 40 minutes to get home. All right, let's go to the next one. Next question. What's your favorite non-rap, non-metal band? Uh, good question. Uh, I actually um, like indie rock better than i like uh, a lot of these genres uh indie rock and uh edm is my favorite genre of music actually uh my, so my favorite uh indie rock band would be uh, uh gotti you guys have heard of gotti someone that i used to know somebody that cat right there man that album is fan freaking tastic and the album before that is fantastic uh, to name off some people that I love, uh, I love uh, Ra Ra Riot. I love um, uh, uh, they came out this year. Uh, sure, sure, y'all go check that out, man. So uh, that's indie rock, man. And of course, EDM. I like uh, Skrillex. I like uh, um, uh, I like Soul Tan. There's so many uh, weird names with these guys, man. But I know it when I see it, man. So, uh, yeah, man, I, I like EDM, and I like, uh, uh, that's EDM, that's dubstep, and I like uh, uh, indie rock, man. I, I just love those those little stories, man. Y'all go check out an album from a guy named Bleachers. And, uh, I, yeah, man, I, I, that's that. those would be my favorite right there, man. So uh, let's go to the next question. I don't want this thing to go on too long. Come on. All right, next question. Uh, what kind of work do you do outside of you 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 <laughs> okay that's a good one that's a good one uh well what i do for a living is i'm a financial analyst man yeah so i sit at I, I work for the government i sit in front of a computer and i look at people's salaries i look at company spending uh so all that board and stuff right there man and i just have earbuds in my ear the whole time i'm sitting at my desk so that's why i'm such a music head man i listen to music all day every day eight hours a day while i'm crunching numbers man all right all right, next question. Um, has anything grown on you since your first reaction? And has anything lost its shine since the first reaction? Okay, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, things have grown on me. You guys are watching me grow, man. The most recent thing that I'm growing into is thrash metal, man. I've been resisting that sound for quite a minute, man. But now I find myself, you know, contradicting myself, saying I don't like it, but then I catch myself, you know, you know I guess I do like it. <laughs> So yeah, man, thrash metal is definitely growing on you, boy, man. That's still not my favorite uh, subgenre sound of the metal, uh, but it's growing on me, man. It's growing on me. And has anything lost its shine? Uh, there have been plenty of bands that have just been one listen and 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 uh, quit it, and I haven't been going back to it. Uh, so a band like that would be uh, Slipknot. It's like a this huge slap in the face of aggression and shock. And I just ain't never been back, man. <laughs> uh, also, bands like uh, Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, again, aggressive, huge punch in the face. But it's like I just haven't been coming back to it for the melodies and the hooks and stuff like that. So uh, just bands like that, man, that don't have a... That's not really strong in melodies and hook, I don't come back to. So it would be those bands like that, man. Let's go to the next one. All right, next one. Uh, what's your favorite metal album? Man, you trying to make my head explode right here, right now, man. I can't answer that just like that, man. <laughs> man, you know how much I've been listening to. I, I can't just off the top of my head answer that kind of question, man, without doing research and sitting down and thinking about it and changing my mind three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. You know, man, that's a tough-ass question to answer. But um, let me think about a better way to answer that with a different question. Like, what band do I find myself coming back to the most that can be something like that uh just out of replay value uh so locations right location is everything 
Is it day? Is it night? Am I with the kids? Am I with my wife? Am, are, are other people listening? Is it just me and my headphones? So stuff like that, it all changes. Uh, so uh, when I'm with the, the kiddos, uh, which is, I know you guys are interested in this. When I'm with the kiddos, we listen to uh, Kill Switch Engage, that uh, that album that's about uh, you know all the heartache and the breakups and the you know you know our return and yeah, all those love ballady uh, songs right there. Those songs go really well when I'm with the kiddos, man. So Kill Switch Engage, we played the hell out of that album, man. Um, when it's just me by myself uh i'm bumping you know um the the the, the screamo the you know the, the 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 screaming type of metal man these guys harmonize with the screams uh so again it would be kill switch engage it would be um uh, the, the the all that remains it would be the um uh uh, uh you know what I'm talking about? All those guys who do metalcore, all that screaming stuff right there, because it's it's like it's like heavy, but yet it's soothing at the same time, and that goes well when I'm sitting at my desk working. Uh, when I go exercise, I'm listening to the R&B flavored metal. I really love my R&B flavored metal, my rhythm and bluesy metal. Uh, all all that Judas Priest. All that Iron Maiden stuff, all that, you know, get up and let's go walking, let's go move, let's get moving type of music right there. Oh, man, I love those guys. I love those guys. Iron Maiden and Judas Priest get played damn near every day. Every time I go exercise, I'm playing these guys, man. So, yeah, man, it just all depends. It just all depends. Uh, so, I just wanted to give you guys a little taste of that. Uh, all right, nighttime. When it's nighttime and I'm just kind of chilling and relaxing, I love me some operatic metal, man. I, I love me some uh, some dream theaters. I love me some uh, trivium. You know, they get all grand and operatic. They bring in, they bring in, you know, pianos and violins and all that operatic stuff, man. Uh, uh, I, I love the disturbs. They get all grand and operatic with it and all that stuff, man. I'll be bringing out Mr. Brush on trivium. Uh, silence of the snow so yeah man it just all depends on the time of the day the mood where i'm at who i'm with all that good stuff like that man let's go to the next one and oh yeah oh yeah uh, oh yeah um and whenever i'm in the mood for some uh fist pumpy edm i now got a new band to add to the playlist and that's rimstein i'm so glad i ran across those guys man i ain't never heard metal that you can fist pump to man and that's dope that's 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 art right there that's something outside the box and i appreciate that man all right all right next question uh i got five questions for one day would you rather walk around with half a shirt or half half a pants like oh, get the top out man yeah I, listen I, who's this uh mr nation three man that, <laughs> you gonna make me pull over, man, and read all of this, man. Why you do this to me, man? Why you do this to me, Mr. Nation? Why? <laughs> oh, man, uh, what kind of kid were you in high school? Uh, uh, which would you prefer uh, to purchase CDs? Man, come on, guy. Come on, man. You, you did this to get a reaction out of me, didn't you? Good one. <laughs> all right, you got it. You got it. Let's go to the next one, man. I ain't answering that. Next question, man. Have you thought about checking out a live album? Do you plan on checking out a concert? You know, I haven't thought about that you know, at all. I haven't even thought about that at all. And I need to. I need to. Uh, if I was to check out a concert, who would I want to see? Man. I would love to see um, metalcore bands, period. I want to just see a guy scream. Scream and sing it and hold the note. That's all I want to see. And then I want to see the vein in his neck when he's doing it. <laughs> That's all. I just want to see some screaming by singing and holding notes. So I guess um, all that remains, that they're the most recent. They're still active, right? Uh, I, I, and who else is pretty uh, pretty active? Devil Driver? I, I want to check those guys out, man. Stuff like that, man. So, yeah, I'm down for it. I'm down for it. Let's go to the next one. 
and, and oh yeah, I, I'm in, in general, I'm big on lead singers. I'm big on personalities, man. So uh, yeah, uh, I mean, instruments are instruments. It's cool to hear a guitar play, but I don't, want, I don't need to see it. <laughs> it's cool to you know see a drum, you know, go, go to work and do his thing. But yeah, I, I really don't need to see it. I'm just big on the lead singers, man. So if the dude can sing like a Kill Switch Engage lead singer or a um, a Disturbed lead singer or an Iron Maiden lead singer, and these guys can just hold a note with no music and acapella, I, that's who I want to go see, man. All right, go. Let's go to the next one. One more thing, one more thing. and he doesn't necessarily have to sing well. Just sing like you mean it, man. Just sing hard, like uh, the guy from a Vin Seven Phone. I don't think he got the best voice in the world, but man, he sounds like he's really trying. And I, and I like that, man. I wouldn't mind seeing a Vin Seven Phone, man. The dude sounds like he really tries, and he would sound great live. All right, let's go to the next one now. All right, next question, man. Do you prefer metal over hip hop? You want me to answer that on the spot? You, you don't want me to? To hit pause and think about it real quick. <laughs> no, I, I just did this live, y'all. <laughs> I prefer. I just about to put me on the spot, man. Who listening? Who listening? Just tell nobody I tell y'all this, but hell yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. There's so much trash hip hop. Okay, nobody listen. There's so much trash hip hop out there, man. It's I, it's like eighty percent of hip hop. It's just horrible man and you it's like you gotta dig through a diamond in the rough to find some good hip-hop albums yet alone some good hip-hop songs man so yeah man when, when i'm listening to hip-hop albums man i'm i'm like yeah i like three out of you know such and such i like five songs off the album i like a couple songs I, and it's very rare that i say i like the whole album but when I'm listening to metal, man, it's just this one whole big album feeling that I'm getting. I'm not, I'm not sitting here saying, oh yeah, I give it a five out of ten. You know, I, I like, you know, four out of of the, the, you know, the sixteen songs on there. And I do that a lot with hip hop. But with metal, man, it's either you like the album or you don't, man. And uh, that's what it's been like, man. I've really been enjoying full fledged albums. Next one. Full fledged album. Next one. Full fledged album. And yeah, it's very rare that I'm saying, yeah, I like a couple songs off of it. And I pl throw a pl couple in the playlist. I rarely say that. It's either I'm loving the whole album or I'm not, man. And uh, that's for that reason, man, I, I like metal better, man. Now, I would say this I'm not playing that. I'm not playing metal when I go out. I'm not at somebody's house party listening to metal uh, because it's not that easy to dance to, you know, the way that I dance, you know. So, and I'm definitely not going to be doing <laughs> doing that move right there at a house party, man. You know, that's not going to fly at the barbecue, man. So, yeah, at, at the barbecue and stuff like that, we, we, we definitely jamming the popular songs that's out there on the radio, man. Uh, and uh, the popular songs that's out there on the radio just isn't metal right now. But as far as uh, listening to full albums hell yeah man metal rocks man all right man don't get me don't get me beat up for saying that man <laughs> oh let's go to the next one okay okay one last question one last question y'all uh is there a way i can support you outside of youtube you give me loads of entertainment and it's all been free i feel obligated to give back in some kind of way Oh man, appreciate it, appreciate it, man. Um, listen, the biggest thing you guys can do for me right now, this is very important. Nobody knows me. I barely have, you know, you know, uh, seventeen thousand followers, man. I'm trying to get to a hundred k. And uh, the biggest thing you guys can do for me right now is simply share the video, man. Don't just keep me to yourself, man. Share me. <laughs> uh, the biggest thing for me right now, personally. Personally, I want every band to see me. So, uh, you know, it's cool for the world to see me and all that. But I want the band to see me, man, and my reaction to their music. And uh, because they gave me they gave me a gift of enjoying their music. And I want to give them the gift back of them watching me enjoy their music, man. Because I can only imagine being an artist and just watching somebody 
enjoy my music the way that I that I enjoy their music, man. And I want to make that connection with them. So that's what I want you guys to do, man. I want you guys to share my video with the band. I want you guys to grab your favorite videos of mine and go and blow up their social media, man. So if you guys enjoy watching my reaction to, you know, Slayer that I'm doing right now, go and find Slayer on Twitter and blow them up, man. And they're going to be like, what, what is, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, oh. And, and just make it big enough to where Slayer sees my reaction to their video. And uh, that would be y'all's gift to me, man, is to share my videos with the band. Because I really want them to, to, to see how much I'm enjoying their music, man. And then from there, we can share their music with the world, man. So yeah, man, that, that, that's the biggest gift for me, for y'all, man. This is just share my videos, man, with the band. <laughs> All right, man. We're going to stop it right there, man. If you guys got some more questions, man, put them down in the comments and I'm going to go down there in the comments and answer them right there, man. And uh, we'll do another questions and answers uh, later on a couple months from now. But for right now, man, I really enjoyed this, man. You guys had some great questions, man. You guys had some funny questions. And you guys had some, some questions that cornered your boy off into a corner, man. I was just like, oh, I don't, I don't, do I want to answer that? Do I want to get out of this, man? But I just gone ahead and answered it for you guys. And I just had a blast doing this with you guys man and uh let's keep it going till next time ow